Okay. Uh, well, it, I just wish our brother was here. Unajua shida zako ukitapelekea shetani na kupeleka mpaka akwambie ujinyonge. Sidiyo? Eh? Si mimi nasema hapa take our we take our burden to the Lord. Lakini ukipelekea Bwana eh? atakupeleka mpaka utoke. Ukwe kama yeye ambaye hana chini, huwa hana shida. Sidiyo? Mungu ana shida. Lakini asipoeleweka uta utamuona vingine. So
the meeting is thine, Lord. Father, that you may conduct it, Lord, uh, as thou wilt, Lord, uh, to the honor and glory of your name. Amen. And also for, for our help, Lord. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for revealing yourself unto us, Amen. that we are your own creation, fully dependent upon you. Amen. This evening we look upon you, Heavenly Father, for help. And Lord, to accomplish that which you have purpose in gathering us here. We thank you and we magnify your name and commit all things to thee. In Jesus Christ, name. Amen. So we have got uh, 36, 36 copies. <coughs> uh, photo actually, but four have already been paid for. Or five, five have been paid for. Or five have been paid for. Five have been paid for. Five General, if you if you needed one, <coughs> or you know friends who need, <coughs> inform them. Yeah, we still got the uh, more copies of the church ages <coughs> and the Bibles. <coughs> yeah. Now let's open our Bibles. <coughs> I want to read uh, Deuteronomy 18. That summer, when we come to the Torah, we come in a Deuteronomy 18. When we come to the Torah, we come in a The Lord thy God will raise up unto you a prophet from the bits of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, and to him he shall hearken, according to all that thou desirest of the Lord thy God, the in the horror, in the day of the assembly, uh, say, uh, saying, let, the, let, not, let, not, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord, that my, my God, neither let me see this great fire anymore, that I die not. Yeah. Um, now, on Mount, on Mount, uh, Mount Sinai, <laughs> when the Lord came down <laughs> to speak to Israel, <laughs> Israel, and He came with thunder, <laughs> lightning, <laughs> in a cloud, <laughs> and it was quite scary. <laughs> now, very scary. <laughs> Israel. Israel uh, prayed from the whole thing and, and told Mo and troubled na wakawa na shida. and they told Moses Musa, we, don't want, we don't want to hear God again mungu huyu tena. you see <coughs> so Moses told them Musa akawambia, okay apema. then the Lord thy God shall send you a prophet Alafubana, mungu enu, a prophet. Nabi. And that prophet there, Nabi Uyopale, 
is none other but God coming si mwingine ila Mungu akishuka in the form of a prophet katika hali ya nabii and that is the Lord Jesus Christ naye ni bwana Yesu Kristo is that right <laughs> yeah a prophet nabii so, then we can say here alafu tunaweza kusema hapa this a few words here maneno machache hapa we can say tunaweza kusema uh You can say the Lord number one. You see, we need no color to talk. You can say the the Lord. Uh, the Lord, the uh, one is the prophet is. The prophet here na bi yule of of prophet wa manabi the prophet of the prophet the and the prophet here na bi yule wa manabi see here god is declared a prophet hapa mungu anatangazwa kuwa nabi a prophet now a prophet na nabi is one who tells the future ni yule asemaye yajayo a prophet nabi is the one who speaks the word of god ndiye ulinena neno la mungu see and foretells the future na anasema kimbele atakayokuja among many other things that he does miongoni mwa mambo mengi anayofanya We also want to say pia tungependa kusema that God's prophets make no mistakes. Kwamba manabii wa Mungu hawafanyi kosei, hawakosei, hawakosei. They make no mistakes. Hawakosei. They are precise. Wanakaa katika you know um, yeah. Uh-huh. Lolote lo, 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 wa semalo kutukia kweli kweli kweli. See they don't make any prop, any mistakes. Hawafanyi kosa lolote. Now, sasa, uh, and here we are saying, na hapa tunasema that the Lord is the prophet of the prophets. Kwamba Bwana ndiye nabii wa manabii. He is the great prophet. Yeye ndiye nabii yule mkuu. Yeah. See? So, any other person or anything else, chochote kingine, chochote kingine, God prophet, kitwacho nabii is actually minor to the to the to the prophet himself bila shaka ni kidogo kuliko nabii huyu mwenyewe ni kidogo cha cha nabii huyu cha nabii mwenyewe he is the prophet himself he foretells the future yeye mwenyewe ndiye nabii na husema atakayokuja and god controls tomorrow na mungu umiliki kesho tomorrow is in god's control kesho in control wa mungu yeah iko chini ya Mungu tomorrow is under God's control kesho hii iko chini ya utawala wa Mungu right he can say what will happen tomorrow anaweza kusema nitakachotukia kesho and it will be exactly that na itakuwa hivyo hivyo now i want you to compare that ningependa ulinganishe hiyo with the word of the prophet na maneno ya manabii what they say kila wanachosema is precise ni, ni ndipo Now remember also kumbukeni pia what the prophets utter kile ambacho nabii anatamka wana manabii au kile ambacho manabii wanatamka they attributed to god wanakitoa kwa mungu wana 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 ki wana kihusisha na na mungu ya brother maina wana kihusisha na mungu is that clear they attribute whatever they say to god wana husisha kila wanachosema na mungu In other words, yeah. they remove themselves from the picture. Wanajiondoa katika picha. Yenyewe. Any attribute to God. Na wanakihusisha na Mungu. So they say that says why oh, oh, the Lord. Wanasema hivi ndivyo asemavyo Bwana. That's exactly the <coughs> way. See, they don't speak their own word. Hawaneni maneno yao wenyewe. They don't speak their own mind. Hawaneni mawazo yao wenyewe. 
They don't open their mouths because they feel excited. So they open their mouth. No, no, no. I will say the same. Prophets are God's mouthpiece. Manabi ni mdomo wa Mungu. Manabi ni kinywa. Ni kinywa cha Mungu mwenyewe. Manabi ni kinywa cha Mungu cha Mungu. They are God's mouthpiece. Wao ni kinywa cha Mungu mwenyewe. Now, sasa God could speak on his behalf. Mungu angenena anaweza. Anaweza kunena kwa niaba yake. Mwenyewe. Mungu anaweza kunena kwa niaba yake. Mwenyewe, he can speak. Anaweza kunena. On his behalf. Kwa niyaba yake, mwenyewe. But he chooses a mouthpiece. Lakini anachahua kinywa. Now, the mouthpiece God chooses is as good as God himself. Kinywa, amacho mungu anachahua, kina nena vizu, ni sawa na mungu mwenyewe. It's only a mouthpiece. It's like the prophet gives an example of a microphone. He says a microphone has no voice of its own. See, it is, it is, it uh, sounds the voice inatoa sauti of the speaker behind it ya mwananaji nyuma yake aliye ni mwananaji aliye nyuma yake yeah you see now those are the prophets hao ni manabii see now sasa that's why ndio sababu what the prophets speak kile ambacho manabii wananena is correct ni sahihi see It's correct because it's not the prophet who is correct. It's God that is using the prophet that is correct. Amen. Not the ones of that man come to pass. It's the word of God that comes to pass. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Now, that's why we must respect the words of the prophets. Amen. When you respect a prophet, see, you respect God himself because it's God speaking to you. Yeah. Remove the man from the picture. Mm. The prophets used to say, Maybe one day they will kill me. Maybe one day they will shoot me. But I will never kill this one. Ah. The word will leave because the word is God. Ah. And isn't it leaving this evening? Yeah. Is it? That's exactly because it's God. He is he ever was. He is he is and shall be evermore. That's exactly. Now those are the prophets. Now I want you to listen. Now, do you know them we are supposed to have one type of prophets? But unfortunately, Satan raises his. You see? I want also to say that if God's prophets are his mouthpiece, kwamba kama manabii wa Mungu ni kinywa cha Mungu, cha Mungu mwenyewe, no wonder they all speak the same thing. Si ajabu wote unena kitu kimoja. No wonder, si ajabu, no matter how distant from each other they live, hata wawe umbali gani moja na mwingine, ingawa wanaishi muda gani bali kutoka kwa yule mwingine 
But the words they speak are consistent. See? So you must understand that. They are God's mouth. Now, look, look here. Now, uh, an instrument like a, like, like a, mic, a microphone, it doesn't say, oh, I think uh, the minister hasn't used me this few days. I think I'm going to try to speak. You see? It's dormant. You can't even tell it's around. See? Until the one who uses it, Yule Anaye Kitumia, See, decides to use it. Those are God's prophets. Mm. See? Now, they are God's mouthpiece. And therefore, whatever they speak, you can hang on. Mm. You, not, you are not hanging on the words of a man. Mm. You are hanging on God's words. Mm. <coughs> Amen. Amen. So it's very serious. Well, see, when you don't do what the prophet says, you cannot talk of God from there. You can't. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You cannot talk about God from there. Oh, that's exactly. Now, let's read a few scriptures. Uh, I want to read the uh, Second Peter chapter one. Now, to some, a Peter will appear in Second Peter one, and I want to read from nineteen. Peter and and. Petro Apili, mnangu wa kwanza, awake from verse 19. Nita anza mustari wa kumina kisa. It says this. Nusema hili. Uh... Uh, we can start from 15. <coughs> so that you have a, we have a connection. <coughs> Moreover, that's verse 15. I will endeavor <coughs> that you may be able after my disease, that is, after my demise, after my death, after my <coughs> departure, to have these things always in the remembrance. For we have <coughs> not followed cunningly, cunningly devised fables. When we made known unto you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received from God the Father honor and glory when there came such a voice to him uh, from, a, from the excellent glory, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And this voice, uh, which came from heaven we had when we were with him in the holy mount. And we, go, we come to verse 19, now it says, We have a more sure word of prophecy. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in, shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture, now remember that, <coughs> prophecy of the scripture, prophecy of the scripture, prophecy of the scripture. Now, see, is of any private interpretation. Why? For the prophecy came not in all the time by the will of man, 
by the prophesier, by the prophet. But the holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. And God is the Holy Ghost. Amen. If they were moved by the Holy Ghost, and they, ne they never <coughs> opened their mouth. <coughs> Until they were inspired by the Holy Ghost. <coughs> so the Holy Ghost spoke. <coughs> See? For the prophecy came not in all the time by the will of man. See? But holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. <coughs> so man was not involved. The Holy Spirit. <coughs> And the Holy Spirit is God. And God cannot make a mistake. And they didn't speak emotionally. No. no. Then they did open their mouths until God moved that person. Now, that's why we have all the prophet's words. Because God See, the prophet says, <coughs> if God wanted to use the moon to preach the gospel, he could have used the moon. If you wanted to use the sun, but he didn't use those things. He used man. man. See? Now, and it is God who speaks. <coughs> now, Man speaks, talks about tomorrow, about the future, and no man knows about tomorrow. Only God, because God has tomorrow or the future in His control. He controls the future, and He can talk about the future. See? Oh. Have you seen people who are around a person? Maana watu ambao huzunguka mtu, see, wanakuja kuzunguka mtu and they declare that person to be a prophet. Na tangaza mtu huyo kuwa nabii. See? See, they say, anasema he is shown. Yeye ameonyeshwa. Yeye huonyeshwa. Oh she is shown. Oh yeye huonyeshwa. Shown of what? Anaonyeshwa nini? <laughs> then you rally around that person. Let me tell you, I was telling another person today that if you look at the world, the world moving around, population moving around, all over the world, every corner of the world, every place in the world, people moving around. You look at people, and what you know, see, you sympathize with the people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? Now, you sympathize with them. Mm -hmm. I also say, God, God doesn't want, now listen, God doesn't want a spokesman. Mungu hataki mwenenaji waki. God wants to represent himself. Mungu anataka kujisimamia, kujakilisha au kujakilisha. Mungu anataka kujakilisha yeye mwenyewe. He doesn't want a representative. Hana haja ya kuwa na mwakilishi. Hataki, hataki mwakilishi. Yeah. Sio tu hana haja lakini ha hataki and he cannot have a representative. Na hawezi kuwa na mwakilishi. He represents himself. Amen. Amen. Oh, that's exactly. That is exactly. So, this is now the scripture. Prophecy of the scripture. Meaning, meaning, prophecy of the scripture. Meaning, scripture is prophecy. And it's God himself. Amen. 
see, let me review something else here. Hebu na tumeke. Second Timothy. Katika Timothy wa 2. Four. Four. Three. Tatu. Second Timothy three. Timothy wa 2. Tatu. Now, I will start with 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and had been assured of, <coughs> have learned and have been assured of, assured of, learned. Where has he learned this from? From the scriptures. In a, is assured of. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures. You see, now that is there. It is said, there it is said, there it is said, prophecy of the scripture. Unabi here it is saying, Holy Scriptures. Amen. Amen. Then in the other place, it says Inasema, that holy men <coughs> wamba, wana, wana watakatifu, move, uh, spoke walinena, as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Kama around, takatifu. See? Then what they spoke was recorded is called the Holy Scriptures and it is prophecy of the Scripture so everything is attributed to God the source of the Scripture is God the source of prophecy is God all right? Amen. Scripture is God. Prophecy is God. The recorded word is God. You see? If it is God, we can hang on prophecy. We can hang on the scripture. Okay? See? We, can, we should have confidence in the prophecy. We should have confidence in the scripture. Because it is God's expression. See? And man as and now man aside. Right? See? And that from a child. <coughs> Thou hast known the Holy Scriptures. See? The Holy what? Scriptures. Man. And here it is prophecy of the Scripture. Here it's called Holy Scriptures. Ah, before it's put in script, Kabla yeah. Kabla kuwekwa katika maandishi the origin is God himself. Chanzo chake ni Mungu mwenyewe. That why it's holy writing. Jisalobi anaitwa maandishi matakatifu. Now compound in a book, akitengenezwa kuwa kitabu, it's called holy scriptures. Yanaitwa maandiko matakatifu. Holy Bible. Biblia takatifu. Amen. It's not only Bible because it's a religious book. See, Biblia takatifu kwa kuwa ni kitabu cha kidini. It's a holy because the one behind it is God. Ni takatifu kwa kuwa alia nyuma yake ni Mungu. These are God's thoughts. Haya ni mawazo ya Mungu. Put in the script. Yaliweka katika maandiko. And I tell you what this. Na naambia hivi. I don't care how many holy books there are in the world. Sijali kuna kitabu kingine kitakatifu duniani. See. All religions have their holy books. But there is not any holy book. Any other book, holy book, so called. That can promise something tomorrow. And it takes place. This is the only book. 
that Sirirayab like we were saying about, about uh, we were saying the other day here that we, we, we can consult God about tomorrow because it's here see now holy scriptures now and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Just don't read. See? Read. Just read your Bible there. So much biblical pardon. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. All scripture, that is verse 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration. You must remember that word inspiration. Inspiration of God. And just not one scripture. It's all scripture. Inspiration of God. In other words, when you read the scripture, you are reading God. When you read a statement in the scripture, you are reading God's direct statement. We you are reading his thoughts. See? It was given by inspiration of God. Peter didn't know what he wrote. He was inspired. Right? He wrote what was put in his heart. He wrote what the Holy Spirit put in his heart. Scripture. Now listen, in God, led John, when he was a prisoner in the Isle of Patmos, with the same spirit, the same spirit went and collected all the writings that he wanted to compile himself and make a New Testament scripture. New Testament scriptures. Now, who did the collection? The Holy Spirit. Lord, let John to pick, to pick, to pick this epistle, that epistle, and that epistle. And whatever John left out, don't you try to drag it in. It's not part of the Holy Amen. Amen. Another thing I want to say. Oh, don't tell us. When John collected what was he could, no, 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 no. He collected all that was supposed to be collected. <coughs> That's why it says here in Revelation 22. Have faith in the word of God. Have confidence in the scriptures. Revelation 22, verse 18 says, For I testify unto every that is Revelation 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy. Now we are back there again. That is Revelation 22, verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Now, look at that. The words of the prophecy of this book. And there it says, uh, prophecy of the scripture. Here it says prophecy of the uh, 
pro uh, the words of the prophecy of this book. Maneno ya unabii kwa kitabu hiki. So this book is prophecy. Kwa hivyo kitabu hiki ni unabii. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the, the plates that are written in this book. You don't, so you don't add. Kwa hivyo uongezi. Because the person who wrote, mtu aliye kiandika, wrote all that God told him, aliandika yote ambayo Mungu alimwambia. He didn't write. Kile ambacho hakuandika, don't write. Usikiandike. Don't add. Usiongeze. Even if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, this book of this prophecy. Kitabu hiki cha unabii huu. Amen. Now I hope you see. It is God. It emanates from God. Now when it says in Luke 24, and we can read that, Luke 24, there are words that you know very well, but let's just read. Luke 24, Luke 24, Luke 24, Verse 44. And he said unto them, These are the ones which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Now, why? Now, concerning him. Oh, now, you find, you find, you find the life of Christ written in the law of Moses. It's his life recorded in the prophets. Ni maisha yake ikiandikwa na nabii. Imeandikwa na nabii. Eh? Imeandikwa katika manabii. Katika vitabu vya manabii. And in the Psalms na katika Zaburi pia. See? His life. Uha au maisha yake is recorded there. Ime nakiriwa imeandikwa pale. In other words, Ma, now mengine, the life of Christ here on earth. Maisha ya Kristo hapa duniani was all in the scripture. So it was prophecy. His, his life, his ministry, his persecution, his arrest, his crucifixion, his trial, his resurrection, had all been recorded. So it was prophecy. And had been recorded. Na ilikuwa imeandikwa. That's why it's called this book, the the book of this prophet, the words of this prophet. Of this book. Nisabu ina neno kwamba maneno ya unabi wa kitabu hiki. See, and I said only God. No, God is the prophet of pro of the prophets. Mungu diye nabi wa manabi. Now, what? Now, God, the prophet of the prophets, meaning he was any prophet. Mane akse ma Mungu ni nabi wa manabi ni kwamba kama kuna nabi yeyote. Kama kulikuwa na nabi yeyote. It isn't really Prophet Isaiah. It is the Prophet God, the man of Isaiah. Because holy men 
spoke kwa kuwa wanadamu watakatifu as they were moved by the holy ghost walinena kama walivyoongozwa na roho mtakatifu Amen. Amen. The Holy Ghost that moved them, Roho Mtakatifu aliyewaendesha, made them appear holy. Aliwafanya waonekane watakatifu. But since we have got only one type of holiness. Lakini kwa kuwa tuna aina moja tu ya utakatifu, they are called the holy men. Wanaitwa watu watakatifu wanadamu. Because kwa kuwa it was the Holy God using them. Ilikuwa ni Mungu mtakatifu akiwatumia. And they spoke holy words. Na walinena maneno matakatifu. Right? See? Now you can have a holy god and a holy man. Uwezi kuwa na Mungu mtakatifu na mtu mtakatifu. Even when even when God will have his children, hata wakati Mungu atakuwa na watoto wake, listen. He said we are predestined to be nasema tulikusudiwa kuwa tulikusudiwa kuwa watakatifu it was because God planned Mungu alipanga kimbele you have children kwamba atakuwa na watoto and the children were already there na watoto walikuweko tayari walikuweko tayari the children would have watoto wangekuwa watoto ambao alikuwa awe nao in the future wakati ujao siku za baadaye wa already there walikuweko tayari but they were in him lakini walikuwa ndani yake wa part of him walikuwa sehemu yake and being holy na akiwa mtakatifu he was going to have children walikuwa awe na watoto who were already in him ambao walikuwa tayari ndani yake those children are part of god so mungu ni sehemu ya mungu before they are born kabla ya wao kuzaliwa right they are already in him they are part of him tayari wako ndani ya mungu ni sehemu yake and when he releases them from himself he releases part of his own holiness anaachilia sehemu ya utakatifu wake wake mwenyewe and he releases push he releases portions portions of part of him na anaachilia sehemu au sehemu zake mwenyewe sehemu si yeah now and those portions na sehemu hizo being part of him zikiwa ni sehemu yake are holy as he is holy ni mtakatifu ni mtakatifu kama alivyo mtakatifu he perfect iwe ni watakatifu even as your heavenly father iwe ni wakamilifu kama vile baba yangu wa mbinguni where are they born from je walizaliwa kutoka wapi wanazaliwa kutoka wapi from him kutoka mbinguni you know that your pentecost na siku ya pentecost they came from heaven kaja kutoka mbinguni Amen. Children were born from heaven. Watoto walizaliwa kutoka mbinguni. The heavenly God, Mungu wa kibinguni, released part of his himself. Akaji akaachilia sehemu yake mwenyewe. See? In portions. Because the Bible says they are set upon each of them. Kwa maana Biblia inasema kuliketi kwa kila juu ya kila mmoja wao part of himself the pillar of fire and all filled na watu watajazwa with the god na mungu see that's that's exactly so you see it was it was prophecy ilikuwa ni unabii it was prophecy ilikuwa ni unabii and god's prophets are his mouthpiece na manabii wa mungu ni kinywa cha all scripture maandiko yote is given by inspiration of god zipeana kwa upako wa mungu all scripture kila maandiko au kila andiko and is profitable for doctrine na lafaa kwa mafundisho amen if it it's given by inspiration of god kama andi kila andiko limetolewa na upako wa mungu is profitable for doctrine linafaa kwa mafundisho and the source is god na chanzo chake ni mungu therefore what is taught kila kinachofundishwa is god teaching himself ni mungu akifundisha mwenyewe when now scripture maandiko is what supposed to be used to teach ndio inapaswa kutumiwa kuhubiri our doctrine must be scriptural mafundisho yetu lazima yawe kulingana na na maandiko and according to the scriptures na kulingana na maandiko is according to god ni kulingana na mungu and according to god na kulingana na mungu our doctrine must be god himself mafundisho yetu ni mungu mwenyewe it must be god lazima iwe mungu Amen and therefore we must never teach anything outside the word. Kwa hivyo the scripture passage kuonyesha chote nje ya maandiko. See? 
If the man of God shall be perfect, kama mtu wa Mungu atakuwa mkamilifu, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Mm -hmm. See. See, he must be taught the scripture and the scripture is God. Lazima afundishwe maandiko na maandiko ni Mungu. And therefore he must be taught God. Na kwa hivyo ni lazima afundishwe Mungu. That's why it says, Sababu inasema, all those children shall be taught of God. Wana wote wa Mungu watafundishwa na yeye. Na Mungu mwe watafundishwa na Mungu. Na Mungu. That's why it says here. Sababu inasema hapa. Here in Luke where we are. Hapa katika Luka tulipo. Then opened he their understanding. That they might understand the scriptures. Now, open their understanding. Now, to understand the scriptures. Now, I want you to, to, to look at this, 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 this channel. The scriptures that he was opening their understanding of were themselves given by inspiration of God. Mm. And he was opening their understanding of that which God had inspired yeah, mungu, that uh, which emanated from God mungu, God was giving them understanding mungu ufahamu. See? those who spoke Wale nena, those scriptures hayo, those who wrote those scriptures Wale did not understand what they spoke. Did not understand what they wrote. That is very strange. That you can speak something that you don't understand. And somebody else comes, picks from where you lay, and explain it to you. For example, I'll give you an example of what you are reading here. But let us read the uh, first Peter. The prayer is God. Now I want to read first Peter one from ten. It says, of which salvation, salvation, the salvation of Christ, See? of which salvation, the prophets, the prophets, the Old Testament prophets, spoke concerning this salvation. They wrote about it. See? And yet, hivo, they were left inquiring <coughs> and searched and searching diligently. Na kuchunguza, chunguza. The very the, the ones who prophesied of the same things wale wale, wale mambo hayo, were left searching Walibaki wakichunguza chunguza. Inquiring. Wakitafuta tafuta. Wondering. Wakishanga. See? Of the grace that should come later to Jui. some later people. Jui ya neema itakai wafikia watu wengine. Wabadai. See? It, it, it seemed great. Elionekana kuu. They didn't have a sunny. Hawaku yelewa. And they searched. Na walichunguza chunguza and wondered na kushanga what manner of time ni wakati wa ajabu na muna gani the spirit of Christ Roma wa Kristo which was in them alie kuwa dani yao did signify alipo nena Amen 
David said, my, my, my God, my God, why has, has thou forsaken me? Who spoke of that? David? No, the spirit of Christ. In David. Did David understand? No. He was inspired. See? The spirit of Christ which was in them. Did, did signify. Listen. Um, when it testified beforehand, when it prophesied, that the Holy Spirit that was in them, the Spirit of Christ, testified beforehand. The Spirit of Christ in them. Now, if you listen to Isaiah, come up Isaiah, you would have said this brother is prophesying. But who was prophesying? The Spirit of Christ. Who was telling the future in Isaiah? The Spirit of Christ. Roho wa Christo. So who was prophesying? Isaiah or the Spirit of Christ? So who is the prophet? God is the prophet. Amen. He alone prophesies. When he was here in flesh, he said, there shall Come first Christ and the first prophet. And they shall do great signs and wonders. Who was prophesying? The mighty God. And he said, Behold, I've told you. So who, who tells about tomorrow? Man or God? And I was saying, I was saying, you find people running around someone. <coughs> they got to Busia. Running around the person to hear prophecy. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Such people always are not interested in the scriptures. <laughs> they want to hear what man what God told this man yesterday. <laughs> and the man, the man is a deceiver. <coughs> the man is possessed with an evil spirit. <laughs> and I will tell you one thing. How do those people end up how how far do they go? See? And we have seen so many. So many, even this town. See? Brother, let me tell you. To us, the God who created the heaven and earth is the one who must speak. And if he speaks, he has to speak within the program. And the program is this book. He has no other program outside this book. He finished. All that you will do, all that you wanted to do, <coughs> he recorded it here. Now he has, he has covered all, much of it. He has covered much of this book. It's remaining very little. And all that he said in the age, in the generation, it's all in this book. He has covered it. Everything has to, it's like it's like a <coughs> it's like a, a movie. Ni kama a cinema. <coughs> a reel. Ni kama ile kamba ya cinema. It's running at la last minute. Inaendelea kufika mwisho dakika ya mwisho. Ni kama inaenda sasa kucheza sehemu ya nini? Ya mwisho. Sehemu ya mwisho. We've seen what it said. Tumeona ilichosema. 
We have seen the play. We are now remaining with a, a short, just a, a short time so of this reel. Is that right? And then the book is over. The book is over. Remember in his kingdom. He will look at that his children, his kingdom, and all that you will be seeing will be the fulfillment of this book. So that we shall not meet to read the book. See? Amen. Amen. See? To read the book. See? Amen. See? So it's called prophecy of the scripture, and God is the prophet. Mungu ndiye nabi. Isaiah, Isaiah, is the prophet of Jehovah. Ni nabi wa Jehovah. And the prophet in Isaiah is Na, God Himself. Nabi ndani ya Isaiah ni Mungu mwenyewe. Now we are saying here. Na sema hapa that what they prophesied kwamba walichotoa na walichotabiri they were left wondering wali watu wakishangaa see now sasa then alafu and to whom that's the story of now mstari wa 12 it was revealed the one that was searching and wondering walipokuwa kichunguza chunguza na kushangaa the kind of time that would be when God which God has spoken through them ni wakati aina gani utakaokuweka ambao Mungu alizenda kuwapitia and to whom it was revealed that not unto themselves na ni kwao wali wali mnuliwa kwamba wakafunuliwa kwamba tawhiri halitatokea wakati wao not unto their time sio wakati wao but unto us bali ni kwetu sisi they talk about the coming of Christ he wasn't going to come in their going to come in their day but now here i think but now he has come to us see they were only ministering that those things that would come to pass in our day which are now reported unto you sasa sasa mnahubiriwa mambo haya by them that have preached the gospel unto you na wale ambao wamehubiria injili sasa mambo haya these things that they were searching they didn't understand mambo haya ambao walichunguza na hawakuyafahamu which were spoken and through them by the holy spirit now these things are being explained sasa mambo haya yanaelezwa what they were searching is now being explained Listen, the explanation they were seeking of the words that god spoke through them maelezo waliokuwa kitafuta ya maneno ambayo mungu alinena kupitia wao the explanation they were seeking maelezo waliyotafuta now now the explanation is giving given to you sasa maelezo hayo mnapewa hayo maelezo yale maelezo walikuwa kitafuta sasa mnaelezwa nyinyi by them na wale that are preaching the gospel unto you ambao wanahubiri wanahubiriwa nyinyi na hema hii with the holy ghost sent down from heaven wakiwa na roho mtakatifu aliyetumwa kutoka mbinguni who spoke nani aliyenena the holy spirit roho mtakatifu did they understand what the Holy Spirit spoke? No. They were seeking explanation. Now time for explanation has arrived. Who is going to explain? It is the Holy Spirit. See? Now, they spoke with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. Now they are explaining by the holy ghost again said that from so who is the prophesier god who is the fulfiller god who is the who is the one who does the explanation the holy spirit that's why i'm saying god is the prophet of the prophet
to he is a prophet. And that's why it says there. I said in Luke 24, it says he opened their arms. <laughs> And I have always wanted you not to miss this. That when it says he opened the understanding, it doesn't mean that when Jesus was speaking to them there, he opened the understanding there. You have to understand. Not there. Not that, that particular moment. No. In other words, see, he opened. In other words, he would give him the Holy Ghost and they would preach the scriptures. So who would preach? I can show you an example on the day of Pentecost. Peter was there without the slightest understanding of the scriptures. Then the Holy Ghost came. The people who are around so this, this group acting funny. See, they looked like drunk, drunk people. And they were speaking different languages. And the proselytes who had been proselyted into the Jewish religion and they had gathered in Jerusalem for the feast see, see the, for the feast of uh, 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 the, 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 the feast of the unleavened bread that was the feast <coughs> proselytes Jews they all came to see this drama. See? And Peter, now Petro, stood there. See? Opened his mouth. Peter was in the scholar. Petro Musomi. No, you know the man was a fisherman. <laughs> he never bothered about the scriptures in his life. He was busy fishing. That was his career. He wasn't even a Levite. Right? He was not even a Levite. Just a fisherman. He received the Holy Ghost. And he stood up. He said, these people are not drunk as he supposed. Even if people don't get drunk at this time. That's what our children should know. You find a young man drunk at 8 a.m. See, the scripture says, even then, those who drunk. And it means said when he says this is just nine o'clock, nine in the morning. It means it, 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 we can't be drunk at nine a.m. We should be working. But this is that which was spoken. Now you remember. It Asa. wasn't Peter speaking. It was the Holy Spirit that he had just received. See, he was speaking. He was a speaker. Brethren, I have told you always, God is always the speaker. Must always be the speaker. You know, when I start pursuing that line, I always feel like a sick person. <laughs> to see so many, so many parrots <laughs> in the pulpit today, <laughs> preachers of the message, <laughs> speaking their own things, each person speaking something contrary to the other person, and people getting confused. <laughs> You feel very bad. When 
we are when we are supposed to surrender ourselves to God mm -hmm. and admit this is his business mm -hmm. and also admit he doesn't want your hand or my hand in it mm -hmm. then from there we, we, we wait upon him mm -hmm. it is very unfortunate mm -hmm. A brother was a brother was calling me the other day. <coughs> he told me <coughs> of a preacher who's <coughs> in the message. <coughs> so called. <coughs> I know how he became preacher. That <coughs> man. <coughs> See? There was a lot of politics <coughs> in the place. <coughs> <coughs> The preacher was kicked out. So uh, there was a big, uh, there was a meeting of the of his of his brethren, and they installed another person on to be the preacher. Has been there for many years. Recently, the man died. But before he died. During his last preaching, I'm told he cried a lot during the meeting. And the cry was, my, my time preach so much to you like this and my soul go to hell. And he cried and the people he preaches cried. The following week he was dead. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, the hands. Now, how do you doubt your salvation? Mm -hmm. you, you are not very sure. You are, you are not sure. <laughs> and if you are not sure, <coughs> see, how do you make people sure? <laughs> see? see? I can't preach a doubt to you. I know how you can make it. I know how you can know in advance. Why? Because the scripture is here for me. I know what can happen to you according to the scripture. And from there, you can say it's finished. And you know in advance where you are headed. Mm -hmm. See? See? The other day a relative died. My uh, uh, right to uh, a relative. Not to See? I know what? Before she died, Kabla Hajakufa. She kind of entered into whatever she entered into. And it's kind of she had a voice. She was told, See, you don't go, you, you don't go her with those kind of clothes you have into the kingdom. Also, here, that flesh of yours is not what goes into the kingdom. That flesh, and those clothes of yours are very dirty. Then she was shown a white garment for the waiting. See? Now, when she came out of it, she stripped. She said she wants white, white dress for, for, a wedding, for the wedding. I've been told, I've been told my clothes are very dirty. She also said, get, get a knife or something. Cut my flesh. Because I'm told that flesh, my flesh cannot enter there. 
Of course, that's a scripture. Flesh and blood does not inherit what inherits God's own spirit. The kingdom of God is for God's children. See? Now, in her life, see, no doubt, she had a preacher who never told her about the word. The white coming. The Holy Ghost. Now you are coming to, to, your, to, to your dead end. And you are realizing your flesh, which you have been trusting, is not what enters. Your clothes. It's not natural clothes. You need the Holy Ghost. Which the preacher has told you you are a, you are a believer of the message. Now you are coming to realize there is the wedding garment. It's very unfortunate. And her minister is also crying. See? Let me tell you, brethren. Now, Peter immediately he received the Holy Ghost. He got what Joel said, and about your Ali Sema, which is Joel did not understand. Let me tell you, do you know if Joel was there in Peter's meeting, he would have screamed the whole meeting? Because what was bothering him, Peter is explaining. Not Peter, but the spirit, the time of the explanation of what he was seeking is a right. And the same spirit that gave him that which he did not understand is now here explaining what he was searching. If David was there, he would have screamed and screamed. He would have told Peter, you know, brother, when I said thou shalt not lead thy holy one to see corruption, I didn't understand what was that. See, we were talking about Christ. In other words, God is the preacher. He's a prophesier. He is the one who expounds. And whatever cannot be understood in the scripture, the Holy Spirit can come and explain it. And I want to say this. There is no other, there is no other preacher we have but the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. It says he gave some apostles, uh -huh. he gave some pastors uh -huh. and teachers, uh -huh. he gave some evangelists, uh -huh. two great signs and wonders. Uh -huh. Alright? Uh -huh. See, for the perfecting of the body, he gave some. Uh -huh. What are these? <coughs> What is an evangelist? A gift of God. What is an apostle? A gift of God. What is a pastor? A gift of God. What is a teacher? A gift of God. What is a prophet? A gift of God. For when he has ended up, he gave gifts unto men. So, who does, who does evangelizing? A man, is it? Is it Philip the evangelist or God the evangelist? <laughs> we say Philip because is a vessel. We are seeing the vessel. But behind that vessel, God is the evangelist. We say Apostle Paul because we see Paul. But behind Paul is God the apostle. Amen. God help us. Mm -hmm. See, God mm -hmm. is everything. Mm -hmm. And he has no representative. Mm -hmm. God has no representative. Mm -hmm. He represents his self. Mm -hmm. And if he's, listen, 
And if his work is going to be done in the way he wants, na kama kazi yake itatendwa bila anavyotaka, you will have to do it yourself. Itabidi aifanye wewe. You can't do it. You make a lot of mistakes. But he can't. Lakini yeye hawezi. And if we learn that, na kama tukijifunza hiyo, we shall learn to humble ourselves. Tutajifunza kunyenyekea. Let's pray. I surrender, I surrender understand these things. Amen. That Lord, <coughs> you are the minister of your children. Amen. Lord, we talk about shepherds, Amen. meaning pastors. Amen. Then the scripture goes further to say there is the chief shepherd. Amen. And the scripture goes further to say that you lead your sheep. Amen. Glorious Master, Amen. may people understand these things. Amen. There is no human can lead God's children. Amen. He has to be led Amen. in order for him to lead. Amen. He has to, to be led Amen. and the Holy Spirit in him be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. These are supernatural things that happen, Lord, in the midst of your children. Amen. And dear Heavenly Father, Amen. my prayer, Lord, is that you help these people understand these Amen. things. Amen. And that's why, Lord, man, as the scripture said, give honor one to another, Amen. which is not supposed to be. Amen. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are brethren. Amen. All God's children, Amen. called by God, Amen. led by God. Amen. You may raise one sheep and put it behind yourself. Amen. And the rest follow that sheep. Amen. But Lord, if we are spiritual, Amen. we will see Amen. that ahead of there, Amen. there is one who is being followed. Amen. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our dear Heavenly Father, you have never entrusted the leading of your sheep yes. in the hearts of a human being. Yes. It has never been yes. and never shall be. Yes. It wasn't Moses leading Israel out of Egypt. Yes. It was the pillar of fire. Amen. Because the scripture says, and the Lord went before them Amen. by day and by night. Amen. Amen before them. Amen. They, uh, they thought they were following Moses, Amen. but the pillar of fire was the one leading. Amen. Had man been involved, Amen. he would not have led them Amen. to the Red Sea. Amen. He would have looked for a route, Amen. Lord, that was manageable. Amen. But you led them to the Red Sea, Amen. where there was nothing to use to cross. Amen. You knew very well what you are going to do. Amen. You wanted to create confidence in them early. Yes. That you can open a way where there is no way. Amen. Lord, you did it. Amen. And you can drown their enemy, Amen. Heavenly Father, before their eyes. Amen. And you did it, Lord. Amen. Glorious Master, you never changed. Yes. I pray, Lord, that this little group here may Amen. know. Amen. That Lord, you will never entrust a man to lead them. Amen. But we all have to depend Amen. on you Amen. to lead us, Lord. Amen. Oh, God, humble, humble ourselves, Lord. Amen. And dear Heavenly Father, teach us to look upon thee Amen. and thee alone. Amen. 
thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes, evening as we leave this place, yes. we want to express our appreciation to Thee yes. for leading us this many years. Yes. Lord, we are asking you, Heavenly Father, yes. that you ever lead us. Amen. Oh, your leading has been wonderful. Yes. Your leading has been, been perfect. Amen. Oh, God, the more Heavenly Father, we follow you. Amen. The more humble you have made us, Lord. Yes. Oh, the more humble, Lord, God, we feel. Yes. We are wholly going to depend upon you. Amen. Teach us, Heavenly Father, Amen. to follow you, Lord. Amen. We want to remember our precious brothers and sisters Amen. who have scattered the world over. Amen. That the Lord, you continue to keep them Amen. and to preserve them, Lord. Amen. There are those others who haven't known you Amen. and were predestined to be members of this little flock Amen. of this generation. Amen. Oh God, you know wherever they are. Amen. We pray, Lord, that your masses may extend to where, wherever they are Amen. and speak to their hearts. Amen. Call, call, call them unto thyself Amen. and change them, Lord, Amen. and make them thine. Amen. Father, we pray that you protect us as we leave this place, Amen. as you have always done for us year after year. Amen. And we want to thank you very much, Lord, Amen. for your great mercies upon our lives. Be with every brother and every sister. Yes. Protect them from the evil. Amen. And if there be another day, yes. oh God, call us. Father, to congregate around around you, yes. even as we continue to prepare us for thy second coming. Amen. Glorious Master, Amen. we commit all unto thee. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you very much. The Lord bless you very much. Amen. I know thee, O Lord.